Hi guys, in this video we will check out Flex Coat Lower Epoxy Gel Coat with their Iridescent Crystal Kit. Let's get started. This Lower Epoxy Gel Coat Kit comes with two color coated syringes, one for part A and one for part B. Take your color coated syringes and draw up equal amounts of part A and part B. It is important that you have equal amounts. After dispensing part A and part B into the supplied measuring cup, I'm going to take the supplied stirring stick and start stirring. In the beginning, you will have a marbled effect. Keep stirring. Then your mixture will become a little cloudy. Keep stirring. After being cloudy, the mixture will become marbleized and you want to keep stirring briefly until it becomes totally clear. Once your mixture is clear, it is ready for application. To extend the working time of the lower epoxy gel coat, FlexCoat recommends pouring the gel coat over a flat surface covered in aluminum foil. The fishing lures you see here have already been covered with a thin coat of lure epoxy gel coat and allowed to set up to a gel-like consistency for about an hour and 15 minutes. That allows you to apply your iridescent crystals exactly where you want them. These are your crystals out of the packet. I switched them to a thin glass jar with a small hole drilled in the corner for easy application and reduced waste. Here I apply green iridescent crystals to the back of three of the fishing lures. Here I'm applying magenta iridescent crystals to the sides of the rainbow trout. And now I'm applying blue iridescent crystals to the sides of this crankbait. The camera really doesn't do these iridescent crystals any justice, but to the naked eye, these lures really pop and flash. And now we're going to take our lower epoxy gel coat we mixed up earlier and apply it over top of the iridescent crystals to lay them flat and lock them in.
I'm just trying to cover all the iridescent crystals with this more toxic gel coat. I'm not worried about high spots or brush strokes. I'm just worried about covering it. Because once you put it on that lower drum and it turns for a little while, that lower epoxy gel coat spreads out nice and even. Let your lures turn for about two hours. The lure drum you see here is also a flex coat product. It is their LD6 model. It was designed to turn your lures to let that epoxy gel coat not pull up or drip in any areas. It allows for a smooth, even coat and can hold up to 12 lure vices and multiple jig heads. Flexcoat Epoxy has been around for over 40 years. Pradco, Mans, and Storm are just some of the companies who use Flexcoat finishes. I'll leave a link in the description below to Flexcoat's website so you can check them out.